since uh, the Second World War, we have witnessed uh, uh, very dramatic situations with millions of people displaced and with dramatic humanitarian needs. The difference is that at that time, there was much less capacity of the humanitarian community, much less resources available, and also uh, uh, in a world that was not yet globalized, in which information was not as uh, paramount as it is today, much less awareness of public opinions in relation to seriousness of this crisis. So indeed, uh, those were difficult times for humanitarian response, and we have to recognize that uh, since then, a lot has improved in our capacity to respond and in the support we have to make it effective. Well, ECHO is a, a very strong supporter of UNHCR. As a matter of fact, the third donor of UNHCR uh, uh, in today's activities. ECHO's action is based on needs, not based on any strategic consideration which means that we can rely on ECHO to make sure that we have support when support is really needed and others eventually consider that they have political reasons uh, not, uh, not to do it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, ECHO is extremely responsive, uh, uh, very active in emergencies uh, and it is on the ground. So our people on the ground in, in many of the situations we face can have a dialogue with ECHO and uh, uh, interact. Uh, and that interaction is sometimes extremely important even for the definition of our own strategies, of our own policies, and of the response uh, we are able to mobilize uh, to the crisis we face. Well, with ECHO support, one of the most important investments we have made in recent years is to boost our emergency response capacity. We have now, uh, hopefully, the possibility to mobilize uh, both shelter and relief items to 600,000 people in 72 hours to any place in the world and also uh, to mobilize the teams that uh, will be able to be there in order to make sure that effective action takes place as soon as possible. And indeed, what we cannot do in the first moment will never be possible in the future. And so again, the interaction with ECHO has been extremely important for us to adapt uh, to uh, the modern challenges and to be able to really build what I believe is today a solid emergency response capacity. I think uh, when one looks at the present challenges, uh, it is clear that the world must invest much more in prevention and in relation to climate change, it means adaptation, uh, a much more massive support to adaptation, especially in the developing world. And uh, at the same time, in risk assessment and risk management, and uh, in uh, early response uh, uh, to the kind of crisis that we face today. Uh, I think that we are slowly moving in that direction, but if there is something the international community still lacks, is an effective capacity to prevent. It's much easier to mobilize resources to react than to mobilize resources to prevent, in the political and diplomatic dimension, as in the economic, social and environmental dimensions.